mean, this is right here is where the receiving plant, the receiving uh, part of the factory was. The trucks used to come in there, get rid of their milk, and then they'd drive out this way. There used to be a pond here, right where that truck is sitting. There was a pond there that my dad used to have fish in it and take his black lab for a swim in the pond. That's what uh, he would do with it. Now this was all filled in years ago. chimney from the boiler. How they used to make those big chimneys years ago for the boilers. And the plant used to run all the way up to back there where that truck is. That was the cheese factory and they also had a way they made whey concentrate for the cheese dad would use the concentrated whey for his cheese spray. Okay, any other question, Hans? Is the cheese still around today? Is uh, it is the brand still being carried on? No, it isn't. No? They quit making Whisk Pride years ago. And it was owned by Kakana Cheese. And they quit making the, uh, the Whisk Pride cheese spread and left it left the name go. So that's all I can tell you about that. Now where's the uh, the sign? Isn't the sign somewhere special right now? Oh, it's the sign of home of Wisconsin cheese spread is up north in Land Lakes, Wisconsin at our cabin by the garage door going into the shed. Yep. So now we are heading over to Newburgh dad built his Calumet Cheese Company where he made the cheese spread for a Whisprite. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. On. I'm going this way out of the apples. The black material you see was the material that lined the cooler. For the, this was the cooler of the plant. Of it. And it might it used to be the uh, office was right here. It says Vermont's Rebel Incorporated, the Wiz Pride Division. So, yeah, my, my dad's office, your office was all right there? Your dad's office was right there where it says Vermont's Rebel. I work in the plant. My dad's old factory. Stop! Stop! Right? Say whatever you want, but I used to work in this cooler a lot, uh, bringing in cheese and getting cheese out. Wow! See, I think I Temperature was off about 40 degrees. Sounds about right. So you 
can see that material that smells like rotten eggs. You take and you rub it together and it smells like rotten eggs. I wonder why that is. Whatever was in it. And you can see the back side of the plant. That was the main plant. The production area was underneath that. We'll walk around it. Oh yeah, what are you doing? Cheese? Yeah, we made cheese bread. Yes. Was this the first factory before you guys moved over to Hunky Foods? Before you built that? Yes, it was. It was uh, my dad's Armin's uh, Calumet Cheese Company was the name of it. Okay. And then me and my two brothers, uh, we went over and started Hunky Foods. On the south side of the owner. Yep. the loading dock. We reload the product out of the and put it on semis. And, and uh, then the, the semis had to take it California. Yeah. New York. All over the whole country. Who was the uh, main distributor then for you? Uh, the Okay. As you remember seeing the waxing material in Scree's cheese, my twin brother and I used to wax cheddars. A cheddar is a 70 pound round hunk of cheese. 70 pound, it was round like this and about this high. And we would wax those in that room and you could see the suction fan that used to pull the wax smell of the wax out of the cooler and not cooler but out of that room so that is what ruined my shoulders lifting those big chunks of cheese up <laughs> wow how heavy do you say they were 75 pounds, 75 pounds. Okay. sprinkler systems in it and right here this whole you see the little spinners there if you'd have a fire the, uh, the fire the fire company or the firehouse they would hook on to those hoses and blow the put extra pressure into the systems so it would spray faster any question there Hans you just keep adding. All right, I will. So far, so good. Now, right up this, where it says asbestos there, there was a, a ramp in there that put boxes up there. And I was unloading a truck right here, putting the boxes up the day that President Kennedy got shot. So I can tell you exactly where I was when he got shot. I was right up on the next floor up and we were putting the 
boxes up into the into the upper story. Wow. Right up there in that window? Yeah, right up there. The conveyor, we hauled the boxes up. And that's where I was standing when uh, I found out President Kennedy got shot. Get a little closer yet, so your uh, your lens ain't using me. As you can see, the red pipes showing you that the whole building was fire protected with uh, with um, sprinkler heads in case there was a fire. Was there ever a fire? No. No, that's good. There you can see another. Here, in that loading dock is where Scrays used to bring their cheese and put it on a pallet right there. The one without the, the dock levelers. Right on that level part there. That's where Scrays would put their cheese. <laughs> and then what would you guys do with it? We would send it out to their... Uh, we wouldn't send it, but they would, they would organize it and the company that wanted it, we would ship it to them. Instead of them bringing it up here, because we also sold different cheeses to the Swiss American company that Scrays was working with. Okay. of the building is the original build building where you see the uh, construction company. When my father first started, they used to have a little restaurant here and they made cheeseburgers and dad would sell the cheeseburgers to the people going to the Packer game. That's and, uh, awesome. He would buy the whole cow, grind the whole cow up, steaks and everything, and put it into the hamburger for the for the cheeseburgers. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Now you can see the roof structure again. This was the corner of the building. And this corner where that window is, was, was where the, uh, the, uh, the restaurant was. That he sold cheeseburgers and burgers to the people going to the back. Just cheeseburgers and burgers, huh? Any brats? They got brats? I can't answer that. I don't know. No? Okay. And Dad used to uh, sell the Dairy Queen, the fella in Appleton, that made 
Dairy Queen, he would sell his ice cream in the store here. And the time we would get that ice cream, if it was in the store too long, it would get sandy. It would get sandy inside, and you would, you would surely know what, what Dad brought home for us to eat. <laughs> the sandy ice cream. So right here was the end of the original building. <clears throat> This was the new part that he built in, in 63. It's going all the way to the end. My battery's about to die again. Again? This one, this battery is really finicky. I charged it and if you let it run for a little while, what I get to. What kind of photographer are you? I know, right? I have four batteries in my car. There we go. Okay, you're looking at the side of the building. That was a, we, that room right there was we had a big cooker in there for cooking processed cheese that we would put in six ounce cups and a little processed links. Um, but it was processed cheese and it was cooked up to, uh, I, I don't even remember, 190 degrees or something like that. break rooms and locker rooms. This uh, right here was where the office was and down in the basement of the office we made a brandy cheese spread and Dennis and I would go downstairs and when we go to a party we'd pick up a quart of the brandy and take it to the party so we didn't have to buy it. We made dad pay for it. <laughs> there you go. And that's the same place we would we would uh, color the wine. So we call it hand pack. We would pour the wine on top of the cheese spread, and then scoop your hand through the wine and hand pack the product into a five pound, ten pound, and thirty pound container. Wow! So, uh, and that's where you get the port wine cheese spread. That was hand pack. That was Okay. It was hand packed, you'd scoop your hand through the cheese into the wine and then pluck it in a container. Nice. Yes. People loved it. The grapes will be picking Saturday. We'll be picking these. Oh, I see a big bunch on. How many, we picked that row, didn't we? We'll be picking a bunch. Here, I'm feeding oh, them to you. Here. Here. Oh, no. I'm oh. gonna go back to the car and let you guys walk around in here. Because you, and then the ones under the fence, under the, the net, those are red grapes. Oh, well, I gotta try one. Yeah, here. You get a, a little tool. The two ways yeah, that's the And then you grab a bunch of grapes and you just you know, slide them through. Here, I didn't bring you many. You can have as many as you want. I'll let Judy try some too. Huh. Yeah, the mosquitoes are relentless. I know they're on my arm here, bite me. They do have seeds. Some of them. But you can see these are all red grapes. And the birds like to eat those quicker. Yeah, it's sweeter. But you are more than welcome to walk down these lines. But this is a lot of mosquitoes. No. Hmm. 
See, I bring my four-wheeler right in here. But you seem great. The Ranger? Well, mine is a four like Did Bruce have his other four-wheelers up here? Or just the just a, He had two of them. One was a four-wheeler and one was a Ranger. So? Wow. I would go around and I'd pick good-looking roses and give them to the ladies. Mm -hmm. rose bushes are straight. Oh, yeah. Awesome. You just need to use them things you pluck your grapes out.